Hello everyone, Happy New Year, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the first video of 2022. And we're going to be beginning this year with a very simple challenge from Frontend Mentor which is the QR code component. Just from the looks of it you can tell that it's a very simple challenge and you can go ahead and you can click on this card and then you can say visit challenge hub and you can say download starter okay now i already downloaded the starter first that's why it says uh, i already have one attempt on this so i'm just going to go ahead and open this up it should be inside my this one so the qr code component i'm just going to say extract here and it should be this one and i'm going to say open with code okay so once this opens then we can close this and i just want to mention that for this particular project we're going to be using an extension called five server it was renamed from live server it's technically still the same thing but you can see it says it's the dev it's uh, the maintained fork of live server okay so you can go ahead and you can install this live server or you can go ahead and open the index.html file however you want really okay and then what to do is here the first thing that i do want to do is i want to create my styles.css file so styles.css and then i'm going to go ahead into our style guide and i want to get these colors so just copy these colors inside here just say root and then we can begin setting up our global variable so this is called white this is called dash dash light gray this is called dash dash grayish blue and this is called dash dash dark blue and remember to add your semicolons of course and then let's add a bit more global styles where the image is going to have a max width of 100% so that it doesn't overflow in the container in the body really and then for the body we're going to have a custom font family called outfit so let me just grab this link so we need the 400 and 700 weights Okay, so the 400 and 700 weights, the regular 400, and the ball 700. Okay, and I don't need this. Remove that. Okay, so I'm going to grab the import from here, copy this, and then back in our style.css, I'm going to paste this on top of this. There we go. And then now for the body, we can specify the font family to be outfit. Outfit with a fallback of sans serif and then we're going to have the font size here as 15 pixels yeah right there so 15 pixels and then what else can we do we can go ahead and take a look at the design to see what we have okay so the body has a light background color let me see what color this is seems like this light gray so let's go ahead and specify that so background color set this to light gray and then what we need to do is i want to specify another class and i'm going to call it container which is going to be the housing for this particular card okay and let's go back with my vs code okay so let's go ahead and specify a class of container so for container this is going to have a background color of let's say white okay and then let's have a padding of 1.25 rem all round let's have a border radius border radius of 0.625 rem okay and then let's see what else we need to do let's have a box shadow as you can see it has a very slight box shadow let's say box shadow let's say how does it go half of so five pixels five pixels five pixels and let's say rgba zero 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 point three okay so this is the horizontal this is the vertical and then this is the blur radius of the uh, box shadow and then this is the color that you specify on the box shadow okay and we're going to tweak this i'm just setting this up so that it can be kind of like a placeholder for us and notice how this card is to the center right so let's go ahead and place it where i'm going to go back to the body and i'm just going to say display flex align items center and justify content center and then I'm going to specify this height to calculate 100 viewport heights minus one pixel, just like that. So display flex is going to uh, take all the items inside the body and place them inside uh, raw format by default. And actually not, let me specify the flex direction here to go to column by default. 
and then align items to the center is going to push them so that the uh, the items in the row align to the center and then just by content to the center is going to push them to the middle and then once you specify the height to uh, calculate 100 viewport heights minus one pixel then it's going to move the everything inside the body to the center of the body and we're going to see this in action once we go back into our index.html okay now the next thing that i do want to do is let's jump inside here and then let's grab these two styles and then let's just paste them inside here right there okay fantastic and then we can remove this and then our favicon is right here from our images okay fantastic and then our title displays correctly okay so now what i want to do is let's go ahead and let's just begin building this out so i'm, go I'm going to create a div with a class of container and then inside here we're going to have an image the source for this image is going to be dot slash images and it's called qr code and then below this we're going to have an h1 that says this and then below this we're going to have a paragraph that says this so process up there we go and then we can change this into where is it let's just say https you can place your website inside here okay there we go fantastic okay so let's go ahead and save this and then we can open this up with five server right here so you can just right click on this or you can go into, into your index.html here and then you can right click and say open with five server or alternatively you can go ahead and say go live on the bottom right here and this should open up on i think localhost 5555 i think it should be don't remember okay so that opens up on localhost 5555 okay so you can close this and then what we need to do is we can check out how it looks and you can tell we haven't linked our style sheet that's why it looks like this so right below this let's just link our styles.css .css and reload it why isn't it reloading what will i do okay so once we link our styles.css i've just realized that we didn't do a bit of resetting so let's just go ahead and target our asterisk and then we can save the margin reset this to zero the padding reset to zero and we reset the box sizing to border box and it should do something here but it still doesn't what is happening okay you know what this is called styles.css not style.css okay sorry for that and there we go now you can tell right away that we are already partly done with our design so let me place this to the right and then we can have this to the left okay now we can close this and let's begin playing around with our styles so the first thing that i do want to do is i want to go back to the body and then i want to specify a margin of 1.25 rem all around so that this pushes inwards there we go and then notice how this box shadow is a bit thick so let me specify this to 1.5 just reduce its intensity just a bit let's say zero five yeah that should work and then for the container let's have a margin on the bottom so margin bottom of two rem to push it away from this text right here okay and then let's see let's see what we need to do is let's target this image okay so the container image so container img and then let's have a border radius of 0 0.6 to 5 rem all round there we go let's have a margin bottom of 1 rem and then let's target the container h1 container h1 i think it has a kind of color on it yeah it's not black so let's see which color is this should be dark blue okay so the container h1 has a color of dark blue and then the container paragraph container paragraph like so has a color of grayish blue so color should be grayish blue so if you are seeing a lot of typing mistakes it is currently about 10 40 pm in the night okay so i can't really see my keyboard all that well because i also have my lights off so i have that looking looking amazing and then now what i want to do is i just want to say 
here text line to the center for the h1 and text line to the center for the paragraph and then let's go back into the h1 let's say margin margin bottom set this to one gram as well press the paragraph downwards let's go into the paragraph and you know what hmm i think this looks almost fine but notice how when we increase it look at this this happens right now we don't want this to happen we want to limit our container okay so that's very simple to do you can just do that by adding a media query so i can say at media let's say for a mean width of hmm, let's say 400 pixels or you know let me say 500 pixels it's much more uh, accommodating so for 500 pixels then i want the container to have a width of let's say 400 pixels okay let's see look at that now the now the uh the, con the the container is contained well of course and would you look at that that's looking amazing and you can tell that we're already done with this project really but i would do want to uh, explain one more thing that we did where we had this display flex so i'm just going to remove this and then you notice what happens look at this so this is what happens so i want to go step by step by just uncommenting each one of these so that you actually uh, you can tell what they all do right so when i remove display flex look at this now nothing technically happens because the the body only has one element but if i go inside here so inside the containers let's say below the container Let's have another div with a paragraph that says, you know, let me let me have an h2, an h2 that says Lauren five, Lauren five. There you go. Now look, look at this. Now the h2 is here, and then this text also here. But notice that if I specify the flex direction to column, then they'll go to the bottom. Would you look at this? Okay, looking fantastic. So that's technically how flex works. And I'm just going to remove this because before I accidentally commit it okay so i don't have that and then notice how if i say align item center now look at this it takes it to the center and then if i say just try content the center then it pushes it downwards technically it pushes it downwards but you can't really tell because we haven't had it a fixed height so when you add a fixed height inside here then it's going to push it to the center of the fixed height okay so that means technically if i have this as 50 viewport heights then it's going to be 50 viewport heights of the container okay but I want it to be 100 viewport heights minus one. And by the way, the reason I have this as minus one is because I want this to return in pixels. Okay. So I want the height to evaluate back to pixels because if I only had it, because if I only had it as 100 viewport heights on mobile screens, then it would present a kind of shaky feeling because every time that the viewport heights change, then the elements inside the container would have to readjust themselves, which results in the, in the shaky feeling. But when this evaluates back, it evaluates in pixels, which doesn't present that shaky feeling. Okay, so once we do this, then I just want to increase the size of this. Where is it? Here to 12 pixels. Just to make it a bit bigger. And then let's say, you know, let's say 14 pixels. And then we can go ahead and create our GitHub repository. And then I want to deploy it to Netlify as well. And then we can go ahead and we can open the submission page. So submit solution. Let's go into GitHub. Let's create a new repository. So repositories and it's called, what's it called? QR code component. So QR code component. There we go. Okay, so create repository. And then I'm just going to copy this link and then we can go back inside here. And then I just want to shut this down and then you can open a new terminal. Okay. And then once we do this, then we, I want to uh, push all of this into my remote GitHub repository, right? So I'm going to say git init, which initializes an empty git repository, like so. And then I'm just going to say git add all and git commit. I'm just going to say initial commit like so and then i'm going to say git remote add origin and then i'm going to paste in the link that i copied and i'm going to say git push dash u origin main we should now push it push all of this into my remote repository then i can close this down and there we go so that now if i reload this then we should see this and there we go 
So I'm going to go into Netlify and I want to deploy this into my Netlify. So I'm going to log in and let me copy this link. Uh, was not the link really, but it's called the QR code component. So I'm going to copy this link actually. And then let's go back inside here. And then this is going to be the repository URL. And then I'm going to say mobile fast QR code component, the live site URL we're about to get it. So add new site from an existing project from GitHub and it's called QR code component. So let's say QR code component. There we go. And then let's just say deploy site because we don't have any special commands inside here. And then let's change this, the, the name of the site. Let's say uh, TSB, let's say QR code. Okay. Let's say QR code component because I feel like I'm going to use this QR code sometime in the future. And you can open it up, you can view it, and this is what you're going to have on the website. Look at that already online. Oops, I wanted to copy this link. So copy this link and then we can have this as our live site URL. And then add tags, we don't need to do that. And then we don't need any, if, uh, we don't have any questions. So you can say submit solution. And would you look at that? Amazing. Looking amazing. Where's my solution? Okay, so view solution. And you can preview the site and you can view the code and you can compare it to what you have. We made ours just a bit bigger, but you can see it's almost to scale. Just a bit bigger by a few scales. And there we have it. So that is going to be our component. And that is going to be the first video of 2022. Okay, so that is going to be the video and if you reached this far, then please subscribe to the channel if you're not ready. And I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the first video of many and I will see you in the next video. So bye bye.